today we're going to talk about, not talk about, we're going to mock about the Viking schedule. We've all mocked the Viking schedule. And we're going to tell you exactly who they're going to play in what order, 1 through 17, including a bye week. We'll see if we're right when the schedules come out on Thursday. But let's first talk about Dennis Kirk, our friends and one of our loyal sponsors here. One thing we can still do during this pandemic is get out and ride. It's time to get you and your motorcycle ready for this year's riding season. DennisKirk.com is a Minnesota-based worldwide retailer of parts, accessories, and apparel for avid bikers of all kinds. Whether you ride a Harley, Cruiser, Sport Bike, Dirt Bike, or any other type of motorcycle, they've got what you need. And through May 28th, Dennis Kirk is offering 0% interest for up to 12 months. Over 160,000 products in stock and ready to ship today. $89 orders ship free. DennisKirk.com. Order today, get it tomorrow. Are you guys as excited for the NFL schedule release, the Viking schedule release, oh, as I am? I'm juiced. I'm absolutely juiced. This is, so as far as immediate gratification goes for football things, this might be a top my list because there is i believe a three-hour television show on nfl network dedicated to this but they're going You're to release right the schedules is. all at the same time and so you know when, when it comes to the free agency period in march is great right but it takes some time to unfold and there's great uh reckless speculation there but it takes time the draft the first round is, is fun and this year the draft was great but again you know there's guys being drafted you don't know it's like like the immediate the immediate reckless speculation with the draft probably ends for most of us after round three yeah. it's like by round four you just don't know the schedule though it hits the street and you're free to mock it for months and in this case you might be free to mock it for months and months i mean we don't know so this is a morsel a nugget this is national football league manna that's about to hit tomorrow night so just question for the group because we have all put together our mock viking schedules and i included primetime games as well I don't know if you guys went to that length, but I included what I think will be primetime games. Mm -hmm. Are we going to pick the wins and losses off of our mock schedules as well? I did, I, not, I, I did not go that far, and I also did not do the prime times yet. Okay, so I, I didn't go that far. Of course, you two one up to me, and I did the lazy route. But I, but yeah, I just did one through seventeen and the bye week. Well, let's obviously. let's start with one of these. I think what we should do is let's throw out our mock schedules. Okay, we'll pick one of them. We'll go through the wins and losses just for fun. Good idea. And then once the actual schedule comes out. We'll go live on Score North Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch and react immediately once the schedule is released at 7 o'clock on Thursday night. All right? Judd, you want to do us the honors? One, okay. through, one through 17. Weeks 1 through 17. And I am, did you hand write these out? Yes. Of course. Oh, of amazing. course I did. Vintage Judd. Show the camera. I've got it right, right here, folks. This is what they call a reporter's <laughs> wow. notebook, something I've been dealing Boy, with for many, many that's years. That's a classic beat writer trick. And I have a notebook in his pocket. And I have uh, primetime games as well. All right, let's do it. Declan, can you go acapella bum, NFL bum, films music? Bum, 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 Week bum, bum, one, bum, the Minnesota Vikings bum, will open with a noon game at home against the Carolina Panthers and Teddy Bridgewater. Oh. It's, uh, it, this might be a prime timer, but I'm going to say it's a Sunday game, Sunday afternoon game at U.S. Bank Stadium. That would be fun. That would be fun. Week two, the Minnesota Vikings. And now, should we try and do wins and losses immediately, or go back on those? No, let's let's we'll, we'll circle back. Let's at circle the end. back on. Yep. Those. Okay, perfect. Yep. We'll pick one of the schedules, and then we'll just go through it. Perfect. And then when we, and the actual schedule comes out, then it, then it's then it's the real deal. Oh, this might be it. I'm, I'm giving you guys what I think might. Well, be you're already right wrong. Now. You're already yep. wrong, but that's fine. You're already wrong. Week two, yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Week two at Detroit. You know, noon kickoff. Yeah. Ford Field, week two. Not sexy. I feel like they always play the Lions in like week two or three. Yeah. It's kind of a buzz it's kill. It's pretty typical. Like whatever, <laughs> you know. Week three, they return home to face Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. Okay. A couple of blah games there in September yep. or in or in November. Like we really don't know when the season's going to start. Okay. So it's, it's home away home. Now back to back road games. And this gets tough and much sexier as far as the appeal of the games go. Week four, a quarter of the way through the season, they will be at New Orleans on a Monday night. Ooh. Ooh I like it. I like it, Judd. Week five, they will be at Houston facing Deshaun Watson. And let's make that a Sunday night game. Oh, so we're going back to back primetime so game. So back to back prime and time. And a short week primetime but, game. Well, but it's it's Monday night and then instead of kicking off at noon on Sunday, you're being given until seven PM Central on okay, Sunday. Does that even like does I, that, I have heard that that's happened. Does that matter? 
See, Does, if your you, body, if you don't know the answer to that question, of... you're irresponsibly mocking. <laughs> Like I'm about I'm to take like, your does, mocking license away. Does your body feel much better because you got the extra like of seven hours? Of course not, but the league's <laughs> going to justify it. Be like, this is a great deal. All right, week six, the Vikings uh, come home then after playing at the Saints and at the Texans to face the Chicago Bears, who I think they've ended the season against um, at home for like the last three or four years. Mm -hmm. But this time they will face the Chicago Bears at U.S. Bank Stadium in week six. Okay. Week seven. They get their third primetime game Wow! in a four-week period at Tampa Bay. I think Tom Brady and the boys are going to get about 15 primetime games. That's going to be such an attractive carrot to throw. They should. It's going to be like the Warriors on TNT, basically every game a couple years ago. Yeah. Week eight, they will play. Um, week eight, they will face the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. I don't have that as a primetime game. And the, the only problem... With that is, I'm in the murky territory now of potentially Thanksgiving, but I'm just mm. going to say that that's not Thanksgiving. Sure. Week nine, they will play the Packers in Green Bay. And right now, so right now I've got um, two Mondays and then a Sunday night game. So I'm going to have the Packer game be at Green Bay on, on a Sunday afternoon. Week 10, they'll face Jacksonville. Another blog game. Uh, at U.S. Bank Stadium. Wake, wake me up when Gardner Minshew leaves. Uh, week 11, they will go to play at Seattle. I'm going to throw this in. So that they played, it feels like they played Seattle on a Sunday or Monday night at Seattle for years now. Yeah, now it's probably been two too. years or something. Yeah. But I'm going to say that's going to be their Thursday night game. Okay. All right. Uh, week 12, they're going to. You and I, by the way, have Seattle. At Seattle, same basically same period of time as a Thursday night game. Wow, great mind. Just not to spoil mine. I don't want to spoil. Sure. No, 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 just his, his, his labrum will have already been. He might face. not be starting. By his arm, he'll, he'll be picking up his arm with his other arm and throwing passes that way by the time December rolls around. Week 15, I'm going to give them a Sunday night game at home against the Packers. OK, because I do think that they yeah. will that the last two weeks, as is, I think now become pretty much the norm, will be against divisional teams. So week 15, they will play the Packers at U.S. Bank Stadium on a Sunday night and Jordan Love will make his first start. And then week 16, they will play the Bears, but this time they'll play in the frigid Soldier Field. Oh, God. Late, Big late time. season game. So Christmas they do time. face the Bears to end the season, mm -hmm. but instead of doing it at U.S. Bank Stadium, the league throws a curveball and has them go to Soldier Field. Love it. Love it. So is it, just, just to be clear, is it, I know that week 17 is always division. Are they also doing week 16 division? Is that like, I think they do quite across a bit. the board. I think they, I don't know if they, I don't, I can't answer if they do it for everybody, but they do okay. it quite a bit. Cause I, so I do, I do have that as well. So I'm going to fly through my schedule here. We'll get to Declan and then we'll, we'll pick wins and losses off one of these. Okay. All right. Week one, I've got a matchup on the road in new Orleans against Drew Brees. And I've got that potentially being a Sunday night football game. Yeah. I can see it. Just another Vikings, like Vikings saints, you know, another, we had another great playoff game with them last year, mm -hmm. and uh, there just seems to be something about the rivalry between Drew Brees, Sean Payton, and, and Mike Zimmer's defenses. So I've got that as a primetime game in week one. Could also see that being like the first Monday night game of a Monday night doubleheader. Could see uh, that game yep. starting at like six o'clock yep. or something. All right. Weeks two and three, home games, division against the Bears and the Lions. So you get those out of the way early. All right. And then my guy, Philip Rivers, hosts the Vikings in Indianapolis in week four. Then I've got the Teddy Bridgewater rematch in week five when you host Carolina. Oh, my heart. So that'll be a fun little, uh, hopefully, October Teddy, game. Teddy, Teddy. Followed by week six, a road game at Green Bay, Monday night football. So All the right. second, I've got two primetime games in the first six weeks. Home against the Falcons and a week eight bye. So I've got, I've got the bye right smack dab in the middle. And then you come out of your bye week with an impossibly tough slate of three games, okay? Okay. Two road games against Tampa Bay and Tom Brady and Seattle and Russell Wilson on a short week Thursday night. 
Oh. Phil. Absolutely Whoa. brutal. Does National Football League hate the Vikings? Listen, Phil Mackey the, hates the Vikings. I'm just saying, the Vikings have so many tough quarterbacks on their schedule. They're going to get like a murderer's row at some point. It's but how happen. they fall becomes very important. This is the, this is, you this get is the worst bye. case. You get the bye to prepare for two games. So maybe you can split those games. All right. And then you get, because you're playing a Thursday night game in week 10, I've got them playing with a few extra days, a Sunday night game, right. home against the Green Bay Packers in week 11 and Aaron Rodgers. So... Brady, Wilson, Rodgers, three consecutive weeks, two of those in prime time, one on a Thursday night. Injected into my veins. Good baby. luck, young cornerbacks. Mike Zimmer's cornerbacks. defense. Step up to the plate, yeah. Jeff Gladney. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, Jeff Level Gladney. Up. All right. And then the buzz kill commences week 12, home against the Jaguars. Just get that little you easy win out of the way. Yep. Uh, at the Texans and Deshaun Watson in week 13, home against the Cowboys, home against the Titans, weeks 14-15. And then road games to close out your season at Chicago and at Detroit. And I could see the Week 13 game against Houston or the Week 16 game against the Bears on my schedule being flexed to primetime. I did so forget the bye. I've got four scheduled primetime games. Wow. I, I forgot the bye week. So they, they had their – it seems like the last couple of years, or for sure last year, the bye was pretty favorable. I think it was late. Yeah. I wonder if they are going to change that and give, there's nothing worse in my opinion than like the week five bye. Right. Yeah, players like the buys just start and you're like, Oh, here's your bye week. It's like, no. Yeah. Well, players would say like the late bye week too, because you get those, if yeah. you have like a week 13 bye week or something and you've gone through training camp and the whole season to that point, you're just dragging ass. So we'll see. All right, Declan, what's your schedule? All right, baby, here we go. As I told you on Write That Down, the Vikings will play Tampa Bay, and I have that at Tampa Bay. Okay. So the Vikings at Tampa Bay, and okay. then a couple home games in two and three. Vikings versus Lions, Vikings versus Jags. By the way, a horrible slew of home slate schedules from a media standpoint. This is going to be a snore fest, much like it was last year trying to cover say, these home games. I was going to say, last year was awful. So uh, those are a couple home games. Week four at Chicago. Week five at Texans, and that will be a primetime Thursday night football game. Okay, I could see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think Mike I, Zimmer's defense. I, and I feel like Thursday Sean night Watson. football, they'll try to like mix in like two good teams that are non-divisional opponents into sure. that. So Fox that's pays that's, a lot. That's so my Thursday night. That makes one. sense. Uh, week six, I got the bye. I know we just talked about early buys. I think that'll be their bye week, unfortunately. So week six is the bye. Out of the bye, you got week seven ho- uh, hosting the Tennessee Titans. Week eight at Detroit. Week nine at Green Bay. So back-to-back divisional games on the road. That Packer one in Green Bay in prime time as well. Week 10 versus the Falcons here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Week 11, Vikings at Colts. Week 12, Vikings uh, versus the Panthers. Week 13, Vikings versus the Bears. So you got to believe a three out of four at home. Okay. Now things get a little tricky. Mm. Uh, week 13 versus the Bears. 14 at, C- at Seattle. Week 15 versus Dallas at home. Week 16 at New Orleans. And then you close the season against Green Bay in prime wow, time. Wow, so you've got them. You, they've got to get off to a decent start they just have to withstand to. the stretch run for you. Weeks 14 Dude. through 17 at Seattle, home versus Dallas, at New Orleans, home versus wow. Green Bay. Okay, let's do this. Just because I've got my schedule in front of me here. Oh, we're going to use your okay, schedule. We're use my, and yeah, it's because uh-huh. it's the best. It's the best. Uh-huh, really, yeah, you're going to use your schedule. Look at the schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, wins and losses. By the Don't way, even think. this is not going to be good because yours, I think, might be it's tougher tough. than Declan's. And, and do, like. People might say, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, I think the order and like where your it's bye huge. week is, the order in which you play games, if you've got a, th- a tough Thursday well, night game or something. This list of quarterbacks is yeah. absolutely huge. Yes. So, all right. If my schedule is correct, and it large, it's there's probably a couple wrong on here, but it's probably like 90% right. All right. Okay. So, okay, at Chris New Rivers. Orleans, week one, Sunday night football, win or loss? Loss. Loss. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm gonna say it's a loss, too. I think the Saints are all. I think the Saints the are Saints pretty The Saints will be all up. in. Breeze will be all in. All in. Yeah, all right. Okay. Ho- home against the Bears in week two. Win. Home against the Bears. Win. Win for me, too. I agree with that. Home against the Lions week three. Win. Win. Win, win, win. They better win. All three one. of us, okay? They better win those two, by the way. At Phillip Rivers in Indianapolis week four. That's a win for me. I have a win there. That's a loss. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's early enough in the season. The Colts, keep in mind, the Colts are a pretty good team. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Colts are, the Colts are not the 2019 I mean, Chargers. Rivers did Vikings throw play. like 14 interceptions against the Vikings in that game last year. But the so. infrastructure of the Colts, I think, is superior to what the Chargers had by the time they oh, played the Chargers. Listen, Rivers is my guy, but he can throw interceptions with even the greatest. I would Chargers rather get him in December. I would too, probably. Because yeah, I, I think but by either December. Way, like, but you're, well, I was going to say you're playing indoors anyways, but you're saying just because of his. The like, noodle. He has 500. The noodle plays. arm will, will be in full effect come December, I think. Teddy Bridgewater's revenge. 
re- there's not really revenge to be had, but like Teddy Bridgewater coming back to U.S. Bank Stadium Week Five. I'm going win for the Vikings in that game. Me I'm too. going loss just because I love Teddy so much. And I want him to stick it to us, so I say loss. Wow, but I can understand. you love Teddy more than you want the Vikings. Of right. course, I want Teddy's success. This more is than such Kirk a Minnesota Vikings. No, this is That's Declan. So... This is... No, 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 no. Oh, you're not the only one. Okay, it's at a fan like goal. you're not. Special. We need it Wednesday. Don't at, think you're at special. Green Bay in Week Six. At Green Bay, I'm going to give that a loss because I'm going to split the two games. Okay. Yeah, I would say a loss. That's that's going to be tough. I've got them winning that game. All right. I've got them winning. I've got. I I think there's going to be turmoil in Green Bay. I legitimately think that there's going to be. I think Aaron Rodgers is pissed. Our old friend Rami has said, "Listen, that's going to be fuel for his fire." I I think he could go rogue, and I think he's going to have a good season. But I just think there's going to be some chemistry issues. Okay. Home against the Falcons in Week Seven before the bye. I think that's a trap game. I'm going to say it's a loss. I'm going to say that's a win. I'm going to say that's a win too. I I I say a win. Matty Ice won't be able to do it. Okay. Like they're going to lose a home game that we don't expect them to lose, and Correct. so I'm, uh, that's mine. Bye week. You know then... what though? This is the year. I with the extra playoff team, it helps them, but I don't know if they can afford it. They this probably, road oh, schedule agree. is so tough. I don't know if you can have that one home game that you're like, okay, you punch it on, on that game because yeah, you, you traditionally have one like that. Mm-hmm. This would be the one year with this list of road opponents and quarterbacks. I don't know if you can afford that punt game as a home game. Okay, back to back out of the bye here. I'm going to give you this guys back to back. This is tough, man. At Tampa Bay, and then a quick turnaround at Seattle across the country for Thursday night football. I'm just going to go win loss. I'm going to say they split it. I don't know which one they beat, but I'd, I'm going to say win loss. Oh, come on, take a pick. You got to pick. They'll beat Tom Brady. They'll um, lose in Seattle. I agree with Declan. I'm splitting those games, yeah. and I think they beat Tom Brady. They'll, they'll, Tom they'll Brady, they're, like no one's talking about this. It is possible Tom Brady could be a train wreck. Yeah. Like, totally new system. Absolutely offense, could be. Absolutely old. could be. Um, so that's probably going to be, in my world, that'll be Brady in prime time, followed by Seattle, where they never really play well. I've got, I've got that as a non prime time game, by the way. Okay. The game against Brady. I, I unfortunately for the purple, I'm going to go loss, loss. Okay. So, and I'll give you, the, I'll give you your records. I'm not going to reveal them here yet. Let's keep going. So then, home game on some extra rest against the Packers. I've got them sweeping the Packers. I've got them winning. I'll go winning that. Yeah, go win at home. Okay, so we all have them beating Especially the Packers like last year against yeah. Green Bay at home. They were home awful. against Jacksonville. Win, win, win. win. You guys, is anyone win want to go trap game there? No, no, win. no, 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 no. At Houston, uh, I say win. Going to be a tough one, and I and I'm in a shootout. I don't see a defensive uh, struggle there. I think it's a shootout. I've like, got them losing that game. Okay. You know what? I'm going to side with Declan here. I'll go win. Okay. I, I think that Houston, as much as I love Deshaun Watson, I think there's an outside chance that they're a mess because O'Brien's just such a buffoon. Yeah. Like who <laughs> like who true. respects him? If if yeah. you if you play for him, his personnel decisions are so weird and bizarre. At some point in time, I could easily if you're talking about the Packers imploding, I could easily see the Texans imploding completely because they just look at him and say, You're an idiot. I also just love the word buffoon. Oh, it's, it's just a great, a great word. But he is a buffoon, yeah. right? He looks like a buffoon. He's a buffoon. buffoon and clown are yeah. two of my favorite. But like if I words. if I say buffoon, I, I think the top three coaches in the National Football League who pop into my mind include Bill O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh Jacksonville, Doug Marone, buffoon. Buffoon. Yeah. You know, I can go with that. Bonehead. Too. Bonehead's a good one. Like clown and buffoon are different, right? For sure. Yeah, like clown. I don't know if there's any NFL coaches I would call clowns per se, but uh, but Bill O'Brien and buffoon. part of it's the alliteration of his name too, which right. just just like fits the word buffoon. Well, and buffoon just sounds like you're a bigger idiot. For sure. Like a For big sure. statue. Rex idiot. Ryan's a clown, not a buffoon. I think that'd be a good. Some way people to look might at say it. he's a buffoon. Oh, okay. How about home against the Cowboys in Week 14? Ah, I think this is the trap. I think they lose. I think this is the I one. one. I, I, I won't say it's a one. trap game. It's, it's Mike not, McCarthy. It's if if yeah. this was Jason Garrett, I would say win, but yeah. I'll say Cowboys loss are going to be legit this based yeah. on the fact I like that, that I think the Cow. I think the Cowboys have the personnel and the team. Jason Garrett literally, and this does not ha- happen every year. I think Jason Garrett's coaching sunk them. You know like that Vikings game. They should have won. Also, the Sunday uh, night game. Pro Football Focus had the Cowboys as the biggest gap between what their ratings were in different categories and what their record was. And I think that's coaching. If you bring in a coach, that team was supposed to be like 11 and five or 12 and four and coaching and just lack of cohesion brought them to eight and eight. That's going to be a the tough Vikings game. punted the guy fair caught the ball and the guy who fair caught the ball had nothing but green in front of him. Yeah. Like yeah. that comes from the sideline. Now, too, Jason baby. Garrett, you, I think Jason Garrett, because he's skinny, is not a buffoon. I think you have to be a little bit heavier to be a buffoon. So he's a clown. Would he be a clown? 
you know what I I say for last year, Jason Garrett, train wreck. Okay. Because yeah. he was just a train wreck. Buffoon. Train wreck. Uh, home against Tennessee in week 15 on my schedule. I've got that as a win. That's a win. I don't believe this Tannehill thing is going to last. That That's a win. Judley? Uh Win. And, and I do see, I'm, I'm with Declan here. I think the Titans are going to be, so th- there's always, there's always what, like three, two or three teams, right? That surprise you mm-hmm. by, you think that they're good and then they take a big step backwards. I think Tennessee easily could take a big step back. That's and then a win for the Vikings. weeks 16 and 17 at Bears at Lions to finish the season. Two divisional road games. I've got them splitting those games either losing to Chicago and then winning a key game or or they beat Chicago and they just put it on autopilot. So I've got them winning and losing and splitting those games. I say win-win. I think oh, yeah. uh, they're going to get a rare win in Soldier Field and Detroit, that doesn't scare me. I mean, the Vikings, I don't know what I have right here, but the Vikings could also be resting starters at that point. So I, I, I will, I'll, but Trust I'll say they win. You've got them resting starters. I'll like, oh, we'll get to the records. Oh, Judd? Um, I am going to say win-win because... Um, oh, you guys both have them. Because um, uh, Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace will be in their penultimate games as the Bears, a coach and GM, respectively. Yeah. And then my third buffoon, who might be fired by then, Matt Patricia. Goodbye. He That ain't going to work. So I think that goes, I think that goes win-win for the Vikings based far more on, on the ineptitude and clown-like actions of the two teams they're playing than them being that great. So there it is. We have all mocked what we think the schedule will be, and we have picked the wins and losses. And we'll do this again once the schedule actually comes out. Declan has them 11 and 5. Okay. Judd and I both have them 10 and 6, which would be very solidly in, I think, a 17 playoff bracket in the uh, NFC. Probably not good enough to win a division. I don't, I mean, it's possible. Yeah, I think so. I think the division is so close that I think 11 wins wins the division. So we'll see. And I'd have to go take a line by line look at the Packers schedule to see like how many gimme games. The Vikings just don't have that many gimme games. So if they can go 10 and six against that slate of quarterbacks, that's pretty awesome. Right now, I see a Detroit clown show because Patricia's just a buffoon. I see the Bears as spiraling into a clown show. I I don't think it's going to work there. Like, I have no idea what Ryan Pace is doing, but he shouldn't be in charge of a football team. And the Packers seem intent on doing something I don't get. So th- this to me is not the fact that I think that this Vikings team is a Super Bowl team or is great. But if you just look, guys, at one simple thing, stability, you tell me. Like Green Bay, I don't see stability. Mm-hmm. Chicago, I think, is fracturing. And Detroit, there's zero stability. So so it's tough not to think that the Vikings are probably going to be better than I ordinarily would say. Because I don't see that second team in their division that I'm like, yeah, yeah, but. Like, the Packers ordinarily are the yeah, but, right? Yeah, the Bears. Hard to say they are. The Bears' wild card is if Nick Foles comes in and plays like he did in Philadelphia for a while. But he usually doesn't, right? Yeah, agreed. Like, Foles goes, he he had, did he put up decent years in St. A decent year in St. Louis after he was in Philadelphia the first time? I don't think so. His his, his first time in Philadelphia with Chip Kelly was, like, legitimately one of the most low-key, greatest quarterback seasons of all time. Statistically, he was off the charts. 27 touchdowns, two interceptions. But then he leaves, and, and it was so bad, he damn near retired. Yeah. And then he bounces, what, to Kansas City as the backup and then goes back to Philadelphia. But I could easily see those three teams, the Bears, the Packers, and Detroit, um, with internal problems. So that's a wrap on this episode of Purple Daily. I'm Phil Mackey, Judd Zolgad, Declan Goff, and we appreciate you sticking with us here at Score North. It was a tough week for us last week. Um, I know Matthew Collar has some stuff in the works, and a lot of you probably still follow him on Twitter. So keep following our friend Matthew Collar on Twitter. And be sure to check in with us for our live breakdown of the Vikings actual schedule release where we will actually pick the wins and losses. Beer and play, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Claws. I'm Excuse going me. right to the brown stuff. Oh, wow. It's going to be great. Claws, beer, whiskey. Yeah, I'm going. All base is covered, baby. I'm probably going surly. <laughs> so that's a wrap. We'll catch you next time. Be sure to subscribe if you don't already to Purple Daily in podcast form on Apple or Spotify. Give us a five star rating and a review if you could. And if you're not, already following us on YouTube, click the subscribe button on youtube.com slash